Good morning everybody, good morning. How are we all doing on this gorgeous, gorgeous morning? The sun is shining, we've got blue skies above. How can you be sad on a day like today? It's just a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely freezing now. Our morning started super, super busy. Big thud back to reality, Thursday style. We've got all the school run stuff this morning over with and we're just up at Pets at Home getting some supplies in for Little Prin. So everybody has been going on about how Tesco's have got an amazing toy sale on right now and I've seen online so many amazing pictures of some great bargains. And as you know, I'm a savvy shopper and I like to start shopping for birthdays and all things like that way in advance. I just went to Tesco's and I was severely disappointed. There was literally nothing other than one thing. <laughs> Not much that I liked in there at all, and hardly anything was on sale. However, I did pick up one little bargain I'm going to show you. The girls got dolls for Christmas, and with their dolls they got quite a lot of clothes and things like that. So I picked up these cute little suitcases. They come with some shoes and some clothes and some coat hangers for the Cindy doll but that's the same size as like our generation, American Girl, and all things like that. And basically, it's just a cute little carry case for dolls' clothing. And these were reduced to £3.75, which I just think is such an awesome bargain. I can't decide if I'm going to give the girls them now or save them for birthday. <laughs> so I think they'd make quite a good birthday present. £3.75, such a bargain. Chris has just gone to pick up the girls and I'm just sat in the car waiting for them. Got to be honest with you guys, I'm feeling so rubbish today. As you can probably tell, <laughs> I am just not feeling great at all. It started last night with a bit of a tickly cough that went on literally all night. And then <clears throat> this morning it feels as though it's moved to my chest. And so now every time I cough, my chest feels like it's going to explode. And then also my legs are just killing me. I don't know why, whenever I get like a bit down or ill, which I'm never ill, but if I do, my joints and my legs just seem to ache constantly. I took some paracetamol about two hours ago, that's not gone off. However, I did have quite a bad headache and sinus pain, that has gone. So, hoping I'm okay and not coming down with something terrible. Like I said, I never, ever, ever get poorly ever i'm just never ill and even when i do get slightly ill a bit of a snuffle or a sore throat i just power through it because i don't um i, I just can't like relax and be like i'm really poorly i just like to get up and just get on with the day so i'm hoping that's what's happening right now but i am feeling a little poop it's not a good day either the girls have got dancing tonight don't know what we're going to do for tea haven't decided we were going to have fish and chips for tea last night and then after our walk around Yudin Tan, which was so nice we decided to just go home and make something simple and so we didn't get our fish and chips i kind of feel like maybe we'll do that tonight instead dancing night's always difficult with food because it's too not enough time to eat before we go and then by the time we get home it's around half past six and i just can't be bothered cooking at that time Chris is just on his way now with the girls. I can see them coming. Hi! <laughs> is he shouting hello? Oh, there she is. <laughs> so guys, we're just home after a busy morning of shopping and getting jobs done. We're starting today's vlog a little bit later than usual. We've just been super, super busy this morning. We've got like th two birthday parties this weekend and we needed to go collect some presents for that. We needed to go get some shopping in and some groceries and some stuff for Prinny. And we just needed to go around and just sort lots and lots of stuff out. So basically that's what we've been doing this morning, guys. It's just a little after three. We've just got home, we've picked the girls up from school and they're all upstairs at the minute getting ready for dancing because that is in about an hour from now we're going to dancing. I'm just getting all the vlogs sorted for tonight. It's just uploading now. All ready for you guys to go up on time at six. It's a really good video too. I'm really excited for six o'clock to come and to start watching some of your comments coming in. It's a good video. 
It was a lot of fun yesterday. It was really, really busy, but it was a lot of fun. We had a really, really good day. So I think in a minute, once everyone's ready, we're going to go outside and have a play with Hovercraft Barbie. Everyone's been really, really excited to get her out again and have a play with her. And the weather's really, really perfect for it outside. It's gorgeously sunny, freezing, but really, really sunny and nice. So we're gonna go take Barbie out for a little fly, I think, up and down the street. I've got a super poorly Sarah today. I'm actually not that bad. You, you like moving poorly. I'm not actually. What, so I can flush you? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, go get, let me put you in bed. And you can put you up. She is, she is poorly. She's just like one of them women who won't ever admit <coughs> that she's poorly. She's not got a fever, but she's just felt rubbish all day. She was up all night coughing, and she's got like a chesty cough today. And you can just tell she feels rubbish, but she's one of them hard women that never admits when she's poorly. She needs actually physically putting in bed <laughs> herself. And that's one of them days today. She's not feeling good To be over. fair, I would quite like to crawl into bed, put on some Netflix, and not move yeah. until tomorrow. But we have family, have children, have a vlog to do, and that ain't gonna happen if I'm in bed. Look at my darling! I'm going to dancing! Yay! Are you excited to get back to dancing yeah. after Christmas? Yeah, and Disney and London. And Disney and what? London. London. Disney and London. London. <laughs> so cute! You're so cute! I can't stand you! Did you have a fun day at school today, Isla? Yeah. Were you super excited because what did you get from school today? Homework. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited? Isla literally ran to the car. I turned the camera off just before. She ran to the car. Daddy, quick, give me my book bag. I've got homework. Chris was like, babe, you can't do it in the car. Wait till we get home. <laughs> you want to do your homework now? Do it when we get back from dancing. We can do some. You want to do some now? I wonder how long this will last to you guys. <laughs> Not long. <laughs> Not long, I'm guessing. Are you my panda koala? Ready? What panda koala? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what this is, panda, panda koala. Panda koala, Ryla. <laughs> 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 So we're just coming outside the front of our house. We're gonna go for a little explore down on the grass outside our house and fly Hovercraft Barbie. Everyone's been absolutely buzzing to get this out again since the other day. It is such a cool toy. The battery doesn't last quite as long as I would like it to, but it's such a cool toy. I'm not sure if it's even charged up enough actually because it's been on charge all day, but the charging light for some reason that's meant to come on just down there hasn't at all today. So I'm hoping it has charged and it's all good to go. So we're gonna give it we a fly. We are in our leotards right now, so. Yeah, we're it's just ready to go cold. to dancing. We're literally going to dancing in like 20 minutes, so yeah. we're just having a little play before we go. Well, Barbie was a massive fail, so. Unfortunately, we can't play with Barbie today. Guys, look how steep this hill is. This hill is so steep. I'm gonna run down the icy one. That hill is so steep. Look, the girls are coming down now. That's how steep it is guys. It doesn't look like it from the top, but it is such a steep hill. Yeah. Woo! Well, I don't know if the forest, uh, boxes still live here, but we do have boxes there. Let's go see. We definitely have rabbits because there's rabbit holes. There is. There's yeah. lots of them. Oh, the grass is really squishy. This little... Look, look, rabbit hole, look! This little area of grass that we've got outside of the front of our house is so good. Oh, for walking pretty on. That actually thing. that actually looks more like a fox hole. No, it's not a fox, that's not big enough. But yeah, that's definitely a rabbit hole. Look! look. Yeah, they're quite big. Come out, Prinny. There's a smaller one there, and then another one here. Just down here, guys, in the summer especially, we have like a big pack of foxes that, that live here in these woods here. Like, I don't know if you call a pack of foxes a pack or <laughs> what a family of foxes is, but there's a family of foxes that live here, just in these woods here and they literally play on this grass all throughout the summer, like late at night, every single night guaranteed, there'll be a load of foxes out here running around in the grass. And we always let, we always leave out food for them. Like chicken, like yeah. chicken, like meat. So if we have like leftover food obviously from dinner, then we'll bring it down and we'll just leave it on the grass hill just here for them. But obviously and like it's really cute watching them from our bedroom up there. And you can literally see them come up and take the food mm -hmm. and then run off back to their den. It's really, really sweet. And also, this, it's not just this, like this is, a, this is a smaller part here. 
and you go right down and it goes on for ages and there's it does. a massive field with loads of holes like there, massive holes in. This this woodland, yeah, this woodland walks, it gets really, really thick and you walk through and it takes about an hour? I don't know, it, half an hour? Maybe half an hour. You walk through to the other side and there's loads of fields and stuff and uh yeah, it's super super lovely. Beautiful street to live on guys. Especially with that view. I mean that view at any time of the day. You can't really beat that. It's so super cold today guys. Look at this. There's hardcore ice coming on the cars already. And it's not even dark yet. It's gonna be a freezer tonight. Prinny, where are we Prinny? You ready Prinny? One, two, three, go Prinny! Go Prinny, go girl! I'm not sure you'll be able to see this guys on the camera but this is so beautiful, this sky right now. It looks absolutely insane. So it's 4.30, I've just dropped everybody off at dancing and me and Prinny have just come to hit up the park. We're gonna go for a mad run and get Prinny really, really tired out because she is full of energy today, aren't you, Prin? Hey? Woo! Good girl, Prinny. Bless her today. She's been in the bad box a little bit today. She went out for a wee this morning, in the morning, and she dug a massive trench within like being outside of five minutes. She dug a huge hole in the grass, and uh, she came in black. So she went in the bath, and then she had some lunch, and she went back outside for a wee after lunch, and she dug another hole. So she had to go back in the bath. So she has not been everyone's favorite pretty today. She's running off with some other dogs. Come on, Prin. <laughs> Who's that, Prinny? It's like a Coco. Look, it's a Coco dog. Who's that Prinny? Prinny is so fast guys. I've never seen a little dog run as fast as Prinny can. She's like an absolute whippet. Look at her, she's so cute. Woo! Prinny, you gonna drop in the ramp? Prinny, come on, Prinny. Prinny, you gonna drop in the ramp? You're a rollerblading dog. Come on, I thought you were a rock climber. You can do it, Prinny. No, it's a bit too high. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. Pretty, I felt like that the first time. But you just have to do it. You just have to go. Woo! You just have to go around the grass. That's it. Clever girl. Come here. Come on, Brittany. Let's go to the skate park. Come on. Let's go to the skate park. Come on. Man, you guys, I love this skate park. Just while we're down here, I thought I might introduce you to the training camp. This is the training camp. This is where all the skills go down. This is where I practice every single day. Well, I say every single day, most days. So we've got like a nice rail section over here. It's one of the best outdoor concrete parks there is around here. Especially when it's nice and dry and crispy like this, it's just lovely. Super, super quiet as well. You never usually get too many people down here, so it's always nice and quiet to chill and practice. I really wanted to be able to come down today, but time's just got away with us today and I'm not gonna be able to, unfortunately. It's getting a little bit too dark. There's too much stuff going on tonight, but tomorrow, phew, I finish work at lunchtime tomorrow, so I'm coming down here for a few hours, definitely. In 16 days, I've got the British Inline Championships coming up, so I've got a lot of practicing to do, guys. A lot, like I am nowhere near ready at all. My fitness levels are not up there enough. My tricks, everything. I have got a lot of work to do in the next two weeks. A very lot of work to do. The one place in the world I never expected to bump into IFAM at was at a skate park. And last night at Mags on Ramps, I met two of you guys, two. Two of you guys came up to me and they were like, are you Chris? 
I watch all your videos, your family's amazing, your dog is so cute. I was just absolutely blown away. So guys, thank you. If you're watching this, guys, the two scooter guys from Mags on Ramps last night, thanks fellas for coming to say hi. Thanks for checking us out. It means a lot, guys. And yeah, it was wicked, wicked meeting you both. So last night, we talked about coming to here. Woo, Megatroids, the best fish and chip place anywhere. You won't beat it, guys. I've told you this before, you will not beat this place. Anyway, we talked about coming here for dinner last night, but in the end, we ended up going home and cooking something because we just didn't fancy it. We weren't all hungry enough. However, that is not the case tonight. We are all starving. We're just out of dancing. It's just after six o'clock and we're at Megatroids because we are getting fish and chips. If they don't like it, there must be something wrong with the style. We're taking it to watch the planes over at the viewing area, which is just over there behind Megatroids. So we're going to have fish and chips a la carte, a la car, a la car, whilst watching some planes. Cannot wait. I am so hungry for this. I've got little booby dooby. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, Esme made this for me. She did? Yeah. It yeah. says, Isla is very pretty and I love you. I love Isla from Esme. Kiss, kiss. That's so lovely. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Aw, oh, your sister's so lovely, isn't she? Yeah, Esme did it. She loves you lots and lots. <laughs> she did me and then a bow on top. Oh, we only have one hand. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Wait, I think I'm dabbing. Are you dabbing? <laughs> I think I am. What are we having for dinner, Isla? Um, fish and chips. Yes, Mummy is just in the shop getting them. Isabel and Esme are having a wee wee in the toilet and we are chilling in the car, aren't we, babe? Yeah. Spicked. Isla and Daddy, the cool team. <laughs> are we the cool team? Yeah. Yeah, you're so cool, I Isla. Just, I just tried to say I accidentally did Esme's name a bit wrong. That's okay, don't worry. But I'm sure I'm she gonna, won't mind. I'm going to write it again, though. I'm doing big. Isla Savannah, what is on your ear? And my earrings. Oh, they are beautiful. You've got ballet earrings on? Yeah, because I want to be a ballerina. Oh, yes. They are <laughs> so pretty. I'm coloring on the back of it. I love these these little stick on earrings, they're so sweet. Look. They make your ears look so beautiful. There we go guys, fish and chips. A la car. A la car. <laughs> <laughs> a la car. Yes guys. We're all tucking into some lovely fish and chips right now. Yeah. This fish and chip tucking has the best view ever. Yeah. It makes even my work look pretty. Oh my gosh. Let me show you. What's up? Do I accidentally just did? Go on had this in my mouth which is a um vinegar but i forgot i'd open the top and i had it in my mouth i started to get saliva in my mouth so i closed my mouth and sucked up <laughs> all the way in my mouth and then i just spat it out over my fish oh oh and i was like <laughs> i literally just re self-reacted and went up and i've just done that all over my fish Mom. <laughs> oops now no one's gonna want my fish if i leave any baby you leave fish you don't leave any fish. I know, like, well, I have halved it with Isabel. Let's with, not play. Uh, Esme, sorry. Yeah, guys, you get some good portions here. Check this out. Look, this thing is Maybe. massive. It's like a you probably won't be able to see it this time of night, but that is my airport where I work. And the runway is basically just there. There's actually a plane landing right now. And when they take off this way, they take off right over the top of the car. So if we get like a departure going out, we'll be able to see it and it'll look really cool. That was definitely the nicest fish and chips. Ever. Guys, I wish, wish you could see this out here right now. There is not a cloud in the sky. There is a gazillion stars above me and the moon. And it just looks so awesome. But I'm guessing you can't really see it. There's like a very faint, hazy cloud over the moon. But the sky just looks so good. There's actually no planes due to depart, so. We were going to wait around, see if one went, but there's none scheduled to depart anytime soon, so I think we're just going to head home to our little pin prawn. Sorry for 
got the lack of makeup and slightly pale rough looking face you guys but you know that I've not been feeling 100% today so please excuse me <laughs> So whilst I was out at Home Bargains today I called in there as I needed something to pick up and whilst I was in there I found something that excited me probably way more than it should have done. <laughs> I've been after one of these for absolutely ages and I'm so excited that I found it today in Home Bargains. You guys are probably going to think what on earth is she talking about? They are way old and everyone's got one. I didn't have one and so I bought it for a bargainous price of £7.99 and I'm just so excited. Check it out. Okay, any guesses on what it is? It is a light box! A light box! I am so excited, if you can see me. Maybe I need to move that away slightly let some light in thank you it's a light box I'm so excited I've wanted one of these for so so long and I've just never seen them around and I went to order one online just before Christmas um from a website and they'd run out of stock and I was about to pay like 25 pounds for it I'm so glad I didn't because this was seven pounds 99 and as you can see on it it says I fam 233,800 and 76 strong because that is how strong our i family is right now oh my goodness how many it's amazing it's so exciting and i'm so happy i've got this and i can send little messages to you all and it's so cool chris has not seen it when i said to him i got back in the car and i said i've bought a light box he was like a what i was like a light box you know one of those things where you can write things in, in lights he had no idea what I was talking about. He's just downstairs making me a cup of tea, bless him. And when he comes up, I'm going to show him. I think he'll really like this. Who else has got a light box? What do you use it for? You could use it for birthdays. You could use it for anything. I am so excited. It comes with so many numbers. If you don't have one and you want one, go to Home Bargains. Because honestly, this is how the box it came in. Create your own personalised message. LED includes 85 characters, battery or mains powered. This did take six um, double A's. And I picked those batteries up in Home Bargains as well. It comes with absolutely loads and loads of letters and numbers. And also um, love hearts, pound signs, at hashtag, stars, things like that. So really, really, really cool. So excited to have it. <laughs> Look! <laughs> I absolutely love it. Okay, babe. Ready to see this light box? Okay. Okay, babe. <laughs> Gosh, I look like a ghost. Here, hold the camera. Not me, on you. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh, it hurts. Okay, you ready? Are you ready to see this? Oh, good lord, babe. You told me to hold the camera myself. People will think the computers have crashed with your face on the screen like that. Everybody pause and screenshot their, cam their cameras right now. Screenshot their phones, their iPads. <laughs> no. And WhatsApp that and, and, no. and tweet us that image. Insta is that image. <laughs> that image will be everywhere. Okay, you ready? I'm about to show you. Okay, right. Are you ready? Don't put yeah. me, put on you. Why? So we can get my reaction like this. Oh my god, it's amazing! Oh, for crying out loud, what even are you? <laughs> are you ready? Yeah, go on. Da -da. Oh, the that is amazing! You. I've seen it! That's amazing! That is so, so freaking awesome. You can write anything you want. They've seen what I've wrote already. Have they? That's so amazing. It. That's awesome. Well, these numbers were different, but we went up. Yes, I love that. That's so cool. Right, guys, that is being hung somewhere where we can see it every single second of every single day when we're in this house. You can write anything you want on it. We're going to find somewhere in this house and that is going to get changed and updated every single day. That is amazing. I'm going to change it right now. Absolutely love that. It's a shame we can't get the numbers to update in real time. Now, that would be so cool. I don't think it'd be 7 99 if we could do that. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> All right, guys, while Sarah's doing that, I'll give you a little bit of news that will make you all really happy. 
I booked a hair appointment. <laughs> My hair's getting chopped off tomorrow at 4 p.m. So get ready, because this gonna be looking fine tomorrow night. Oh, good lord. He's off one again. Okay, guys, check it out. Good night, iFam. Mwah. <laughs> Okay, I did try to write good night, but there weren't enough space, so I thought, from Yorkshire, good night, that does fine with me. Good night, our little iFam. <laughs> On that note, I am going to end today's vlog, because me and Chris are going to watch some Netflix. <gasps> I just found a bee in my bed. A bee. Did it sting you? Chris definitely thought I thought, Chris definitely thought I meant an actual bee then. I could just tell by the look on his face. Me and Chris are now going to watch some Netflix as Chris is on an early tomorrow and the girls are at school, they're already in bed. I don't know why I said that because it's completely not relevant. <laughs> we are going to watch some Netflix so we are going to end today's vlog here. Hope you've enjoyed watching and if you did, you know what to do guys. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We have so many people, so many subscribers, hashtagging get the numbers to 300,000 by the end of, is it the end of January? Yeah. By the end of January. And we're so excited that we have so many amazing subscribers that are supporting us and excited for our growth. Just as excited as what we are. It's amazing. Things are exciting so much more when you have a group of people who are also excited with you. It just makes it all way more fun. So thank you all so much for all your love and support. It means the world to us. My throat, can you hear that? It's becoming extremely croaky. If I wake up tomorrow with no voice, I mean, Chris will be happy, but... <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you all so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow. Good night! Mwah.